Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn about day and date. That is, uh, we can find any day of any date. Suppose if I uh, say anything, uh, what day what day falls on the our Independence Day? That is 15th August 1947. I can say this falls on Friday. So how to find like this so day of any date? Before learning how to find day of a day. Uh, we have to learn some basic things. One of the basic thing is we need to know what is odd days. What is the odd days? What are odd days? Suppose today is Monday. After three days, what day will come? So we can easily count Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. After three days, Thursday will come. And after ten days, what day will come? How do we calculate? We don't calculate all ten days. Just subtract 7 and what is the remainder? 3. So we count just only 3 days. That is from now onwards. Today suppose Monday. After 10 days what day will come? We count only 3. That is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday again. After 10 days Thursday will come. In the same way, uh, after 100 days what day will come? We cannot subtract minus 7, minus 7 like this. We can divide it by 7. So 7 ones are 7 and remainder is 30 and 7 fours are 28 and remainder is 2. So we don't bother about the quotient, we take only the remainder 2. So what 100 days, after 100 days what day will come? We just count only 2 days. So today is Monday and after 100 days what day will come? We count only 2 times Tuesday, Wednesday. After 100 days, Wednesday will fall. So, out of this 100, the remainder we take only 7. Divide by 7 and we take the remainder only 2. Likewise, uh, after 1 year, that is, we take a normal year, 365 days. As we know, 365 days is 52 weeks and 1 day. One extra will day, day will come. So, after uh, today's Monday, same day fall in the next uh, year, Monday becomes Tuesday and Tuesday becomes Wednesday. Like this, for every year, one, one extra day, one extra day will come. And next, uh, suppose it is a leap year, we have to count two times. So, now we take only normal years and suppose it is a norm, normal year, we count only one day. Suppose uh, uh, today, this year is a normal year. So today is Monday. Next year, same day will fall on when uh, Tuesday. That is only one day. That is Tuesday. So we count only one day. Now, what are all these things? 3, 2, 1 like this. These are all called odd days. So for every, how many days? So we count it. Out of these days, we count uh, the odd days that is divide by 7 and we take the remainder and count only those remainder are the remainder are called odd days okay so before learning day of any day we must know about odd days so after learning odd days another basic things we need to learn three codes century code month codes and day codes three codes First, let us learn about century code. Century code. So, 100 years. So, 100 years, we take it as a century. For every 100 years, 5 odd days will come. For every 200 years, 3 odd days will come. For every 300 years, 1 odd day will come. For every 400 years, 0 odd days. We have to remember these codes. So instead of learning 100, 200, 300, 400, we take only 1, 2, 3, 4 centuries. First century, 5 orders. Second century, third. like this, 4th century, 0 orders. Next again, 5th century. 5th century means 5 minus 4, we take only 1. That is centuries. Suppose 1985 years. Suppose if we want to find a day of a date which falls on 1985 year, we take the century 1900. 
1900 divided by 4, 4 fours are 16 and remainder is 3, we take only 3, what is the 3 code? 300 years, just 3 is nothing but 300 years, only 1, we take 1 odd day, like this we take it. So first of all we have to learn these century codes. So in the next video, I uh, will tell you how to find these codes. In 100 years, how we get 5 odd days? In 200 years, how we get 3 and 3 odd days? I will tell you in the next video. Just I will tell you what the codes and just only the calculations. In depth we can go. So how do, uh, how do we get all these codes like this? And next, uh, let us move to month codes. Century codes and month codes. What is the month code? Uh, just now we learn the centuries. And next when it comes to month. So how many months are there? 12 months. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So we have to learn century codes. That is month codes. 0, 3, 3, 6, 1, 4, 6, 2, 5, 0. 35 0 3 3 6 1 4 6 2 5 0 3 5 we have to buy hard these things suppose if you forget we can count these codes using some calculation i'll tell you in the next video how to find these codes just we have to buy hard these codes so if you forgot all uh, some some of the codes you can calculate it how to calculate i'll tell you in the next video so january to december suppose uh, we need to find a day of a date which falls on suppose June. So we take the code odd days, four odd days like this. And I told you three codes. Century codes, month code and day code. Day code. So after all the calculations we get a remainder. So based on the remainder we tell which day the date falls on. So zero means Sunday. 1 means Monday, 2 Tuesday, 3 Wednesday, 4 Thursday, 5 Friday, 6 Saturday. Like this, we have to remember century course 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 1, 0. How do we learn? Odd days. And this you have to buy hard. And this also 0 to 6, the codes very easy, starting with the sun, suppose if we got a, a 3 as the remainder, we start from Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like this we can get it. Suppose if we got a remainder of 5, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so we can count easily these codes. So mo uh, most of the cases you have to learn these two codes and these codes also very easily you can learn, only these codes are somewhat uh, typical. 0336 You have to remember. Okay. So these are the basic things. We have learned basic things. First, how to find odd days. Divide them by 7 and we take the remainder. And second thing, codes. Century codes, month codes and day codes. And now let us see actual calculations. In the next video, I will tell you <coughs> how to find these codes so shortcut way and next uh, let us take our independence day 15th august 1947 so you have to calculate some odd days first we take century code century code 19 code and directly year Next to month code, we are going backwards, century, year, month, and what else? Here, between which year and leap years. And next to month code. So for this year, we have to calculate three things. Century code, year, and leap years. I told you, for every year, there is one odd day. For every leap year, one extra day. We have to count how many leap years are there in 47. And month course, that is August month code, you have to count. And next, directly date. 
so one two three four five five things you have to add up century code 19 just now we have seen 19 divided by 4 4 fours are 16 remainder is 3 what is 3 code 1 and year so we take instead of 47 I'll take 46 because 47th year is running 47th year is not completed so how many years completed from 1900 only 46 years completed 47th year is running and we have to count for every 46 years 46 odd days and we need to find leap years how do you find leap years as you know 46 divided by 4 4 ones are 4 and 6 4 ones are 4 remainder is 2 so we don't bother about the remainder here we have to take only for this one we take quotient 11 these two are normal years everywhere we are taking remainders here we have to take quotient so 11 leap years are there in 47 so 46 years so 46 years 46 odd days and 11 leap years for every extra leap year extra odd days that is 11 and month code august what is august code 03361462 that is we take 2 ok so you have to remember those things and day as it is 15 we write up here and 6 plus 1 plus 2 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 5 15 1 5 6 is 7 75 3 things we are calculating here your century code and for this uh, leap years and next uh, remainder 75 oh, we got 75 odd days odd days can be only from 0 to 6 so that's why we have to divide it, those things 75 by 7 7 ones are 7 7 tens are 70 you can take like this remainder is 5 no we end up with this one 5 we got 5 here we comes day codes just now I told you the day codes 5 we start with Monday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday so our Independence Day falls on Friday like this we calculate so you may be thinking that uh, some of the uh, you have seen in some shows some of the persons uh, tells by saying the what by telling immediately by telling the date they can immediately tell the day of this one there is a shortcut way I'll tell you in the next class so next video I'll tell you the shortcut way within 10 to 15 seconds if you practice within 10 to 15 seconds no need of any of these calculations and just by fraction of our calculations by fingers we can tell the day of any date without any pen, pen and paper but before that you have to practice these calculations I'll take a, another example to explain this one we shall take another example or Republic Day 26th January 1950 as we know first starting uh, we take century code year leap year month code page first uh, century code 19 century code last example we have seen 19 uh, divided by 4 we get the remainder 3 the code for 3 is 1 and 50 as you know we don't take 50 directly so subtract 1 because 50th uh, year is running 49 years are completed and out of 49 we have to take leap years 49 divided by 4 4 ones are 4 9 4 twos are 8 we don't bother about the remainder we take the quotient here so out of 49 we have 12 leap years and month code January month code is 0 ok I'll write here January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Course of 
जीरो थ्री थ्री सिक्स वन फोर सिक्स टू फाइव जीरो थ्री फाइव नेक्स्ट डे कोड जानवर कोड इज जीरो हैव टेकन जीरो डे एज डी सेल राइट ट्वेंटी सिक्स वन नाइन टेन ट्वेल्व एटीन फोर प्लस वन फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एटी एट Odd days. Eighty-eight can be or odd days. So it should be between zero to six. So eighty-eight must be divided by seven. We take the remainder. Seven ones are seven. Eighteen. Seven twos are fourteen. Remainder is four. So we take four and count from Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So our Republic Day falls on Thursday. Like this, we calculate. everything uh, every date now we shall take another example about 2000 year i'll take a uh, 13th april 2012 now I have taken leap year 2012 now century code year leap year month code date century code 20 20 is exact exactly divisible by 4 4 is 20 remainder is 0 so exactly divisible we take here remainder for century code we take the remainder 0 that's no nothing but 400 years exactly 400 years means 4 uh, 4 code is 0 as it is For twenty nineteen, the code is one, and twenty for code is zero. Years twelve, twelfth year is running, so we take eleven years. Out of eleven years, how many leap years? Four twos are eight. We get a three, and we take two. But here I'll write three because two thousand twelve is a leap year. We have to consider if it is a leap year. it must be very important to notice that whether in 2012 february crossed or not that is leap year crossed or not in february 29 days will be there so 29th february 29 is crossed so we take three leap years two leap years in 11 years and the 2012 february crossed so we take here three okay we have to consider uh, carefully we have to take if it is leap year we have to take here carefully if it is non leap year no need to bother about it month code april code is 6 and day is 13 so addition 1 plus 3 4 plus 6 10 13 1 2 3 33 again we divide by 7 33 odd days odd days must be between 0 to 6 so here we take 7 7 4 are 28 the remainder is 5 5 code is friday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday so 13th april 2012 born uh, falls on friday in the same way i'll take uh, 13th february same example i'll take uh, 13th february 2012 here the leap year leap month leap day has not crossed that is february 29 has not crossed so for 20 we take as is 0 for 12 we take 11 here leap year the difference exists here we take here 2 because february 29th has not been crossed here we take same thing april code is 6 and date is 13 same thing we take here What do we get? Only one is less. So one plus two plus three, nine, twelve, and thirty-two. One is less. So here we take thirty-two. Okay. So what's the remainder? Four. If it is four, Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So Thursday. Here I have taken two examples. Same on the leap year, which is uh, crossed February twenty nine, and which has not crossed February twenty nine. Okay, 
and like this we calculate all this in next video i'll tell you how these codes came 0336146 how to calculate without by harding and i'll tell you a shortest shortcut way how to find these uh, calculations so very fast within a fraction of seconds within using a uh, fingertips we can calculate the all these things no need of all these things all these calculations directly by seeing the date within the fingertip calculations we can tell in the next video i'll tell you the shortcut way